we are going to start doing our unit that everyone in pre-cal hates about the unit circle. Okay, so we're going to start in degrees. You should already know stuff about degrees from having been in geometry. So, first question, how big of an angle is that? 90. Yes, you do. 90. Okay, 90 degrees. Okay, then I want you now to add another 90. So instead of stopping here, I'm going to go all the way across. How big is that? 180. 180. Now, what about if I go all the way around the circle back to here? Okay, so this is 0 degrees or 360. Now, I heard Amaya said 270. If I add one more 90, where does that put me at after 180? Right here would be my 270. Okay, does that make sense so far? So, these are positive angles, and they are measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis, that's right here, okay, with the vertex at the origin. So what that means is that I am measuring how far I am rotating around the circle, but I'm measuring counterclockwise, okay? So start right here, it says label the axis, blah, 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 okay, got it. Okay, first question, we're gonna label 45 degrees. You are always starting here. I have to rotate 45 degrees. So if I go all the way to 90, that's too far. Where do I need to stop? Halfway. Yeah? This would be halfway between 0 and 90. So right here, I'm going to put that is 45 degrees. Good morning again, Ram Nation. Teachers, please pardon this interruption, but it's third period, and we need to just double check that everyone has their ID badges. Okay. I know the librarians are having their numbers. I was walking to the center here in Douglas Cove. Okay, but you know these rules are to keep you safe, yeah. even though you hate them. Years ago. Yeah. All right. So, it, the next question says label 45 degrees. Check. We already did it. Okay. Then it says in what quadrant does this lie? Is it one, two, three, four? You gotta go one, two, three, four. Yeah? One, so two, this is I'm gonna label it on here. This is quadrant one. This is quadrant two. This is quadrant three. And this is quadrant four. <laughs> so my first year teaching, I had a kid that was like, Oh, it's a C for quadrant. Oh my god. Oh, god. <laughs> um, Thank you, but it sounds like it could start this year. So, one, two, three, four, yeah? So, what quadrant is 45 degrees in? Okay, good. So, quadrant one. Okay, ready for another one? No. Okay, <laughs> next we want 100 degrees. This is a little bit over 90. Okay, yeah, so if I start at zero, okay, I rotate to 90, but then I need to go a little bit more. That puts me here, yeah? Okay, quad two. Very good. Now, I want you to label it on your circle, and then I want you to put quadrant two as your answer. So, 100 degrees would have been here, and then I'm going to put that's quadrant two. Oh, did you count the dots? No, you don't have to count the dots. That's just like a dotted circle. Okay, that's okay. All right, next one. We want to go to 165. So, if I start here, this is zero, all the way to 180 is too far, so I need to back up and put me like here-ish, yeah? Okay. So, I'm going to put about right here, okay, would be 165. Now, obviously, you don't have a protractor, so I don't expect it to be perfect, okay, but you should be able to tell what quadrant you're in, yeah? Okay, so we said that's quadrant what for 165? Quadrant two. Um, one more left. Next, I want to do 200 degrees. 
Okay, so I'd start here at 100. I'd go all the way around to 180, and then a little bit more, that puts me in what quadrant? Three. Three. Okay, so that would put me right here for 200, which is quadrant three. Okay, now, so put your Q3 right here, yeah? Okay, now look at the next one. You notice the negative? Okay, if a positive angle is measured up and around counterclockwise, how do you guess a negative angle is measured? You're going to start here. You're going to go clockwise. You're going to go backwards. So positive is up and around. Negative is backwards and around or down and around. What did you say? Uh, I haven't done it yet, but yeah. Um, so it would be measured clockwise. Okay? But you are still starting from the x-axis every time. So before we do any measures, we're going we're gonna to label our angles. So this is 0 degrees. Where would negative 90 be? Right there, yeah? Because I would have rotated from zero exactly 90 degrees down. That would have put me here. Now, what about if I go from here all the way to there? Negative 180. Yes, quadrants are all still the same. What would this one be? Negative 270. And then what would this one be? So I'm going to put or negative 360. Now, remember that zero and 360 are always going to line up. Doesn't matter if you go positive 360 or negative 360. What's the other angle that didn't change? 180 was here. Where's negative 180? Still here. So if you're rotating half the circle, doesn't matter which way you turn around, you're facing the same direction. Yeah? Okay, so let's do negative 30 on the unit circle. So negative 30, I'm starting here. If I rotate all the way back to 90, that's too far. So I'd have to start there. Now, relabel your quadrants. Okay, remember, sound like it starts with a C. One, two, three, four. That puts me in four. Okay, four. Make sense? Okay, try the next one. Hello? Yeah, can I send them after notes? Cool, thanks, bye. Kiddos, they want you to come take a picture for your ID when we're done. Um, okay, so next one was negative 80. What quadrant? Negative 80 is the next one right here. You'd still be in quadrant 4. Because look, when I rotate back, i got to stop before... Negative 90, that puts me here. And then remember, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, so I'm in quadrant 4. Good? Okay, last one. I want negative 120. Quadrant 3 is correct. So come up to your little picture. Look, I would have to go backwards 90, then a little bit more. That would put me like here. Make sense? So I'd be in quadrant three. Everybody good with that? No? Okay. So before we go on, on your homework, did I give you the right homework? Huh? Um, well, then we're going to go on in the notes if you're not going to be here to do the homework questions. If it's an emergency, then yes. Okay. All right, so I'll flip over to the back side. We'll come back to the homework in a second. Okay, what does it mean for angles to be complementary? Uh, so if they're the same, it's congruent. Yes? Oh, the top one was counterclockwise. And then the bottom one was clockwise. Uh huh. And then remember, guys, counterclockwise, you're going up and backwards. Regular clockwise, you're counting down. OK? 
Okay, that's where the positive and the negative kind of makes sense, is if you think I'm going up or if I'm going down. Okay, good to turn the page. Okay, so complementary. They have to add up to something special. 90. Okay. So, you can think about, like, if you were going to give someone a compliment, you'd be like, hey, man, high five. Oh. Oh. What is it? Hey, man. Oh. 90 degrees. What a compliment. Okay, the next one, supplementary. What do they have to add up to? 180. Okay, then it says two angles are in standard two angles in standard position are coterminal if they terminate at the same place or the terminal rays coincide. Okay, so this is what that means, okay? This is where unit circle gets kind of annoying. Locate 10 degrees on the unit circle. Okay, so remember, this is my zero. I always start here. So if I want to go 10 degrees, that would put me like here, right? Good? Okay, a complementary angle is how much more angle I need to get to 90. So all that you would have to do is 90 degrees minus 10 degrees. How much do I need to make it to 90? 80 degrees. Okay. Yes? Okay, that's fine. Okay, then a supplementary angle, how much do they have to add up to? 180, so I do 180 degrees. Take away the 10 degrees I already have, how much more would I need? 170 degrees. Okay, so those aren't too hard. Okay, then a positive coterminal angle, this is what that means, okay? You're going to rotate to 10, but then you have to extra rotate around the circle to end up back at the same place. So I'll do this one for you. I just want you to kind of think about it. So remember, I'm starting here, and I want to end up here, yeah? But I can't just go 10 degrees. So a coterminal angle would be I'm going to go 360 plus 10 more. What would I be at? 370 is a coterminal angle, okay? So I'm going to do 370 degrees because that's 10 plus 360. Okay? So I'm basically saying like, okay, I want to end here. Well, I'll do one extra loop and then I'll be back at the same spot. Does that make sense? Oh, that's what I'm going to use 180. Yeah, 180 is halfway. Okay, now if I want a negative coterminal angle, I'm just going to rotate the other way. Okay, so I'm going to start with my 10 degrees. But then I'm going to minus 360 degrees. What would that put me at? 350. Okay, now let's talk about why. If I rotate backwards, let me erase this. Okay, so remember, I still want to end here, right, at 10. If I rotate back, do I want to make it a whole 360? No. I have to stop early. How much earlier do I have to stop? Uh, 10. 10 degrees. So that's why I'm only going backwards 350. Does that make sense? Okay, mm -hmm. so put here, coterminal angles will always differ by 360 degrees. It's considered a positive coterminal angle when you add the extra loop. And it's considered a negative coterminal angle when you subtract the extra loop. Good? Okay, next one. And then that's why I had y'all get a calculator. So if you want to not have to worry about the math, that's fine. Okay, so next one. We got to label 120 on the unit circle. 120 on the unit circle. Okay, so let's start. This is 0. This is 90. What comes next? 180, what comes next? And then zero is the same as 360. Okay, I want to only go 120. So I'm going to rotate to 90, but then I have to keep going. That puts me here-ish, right? Okay, so draw your 120 degrees. Okay, complementary angle. Remember, you're going to take 90 degrees. 
and then you're going to minus off the 120. I need a negative 30 degree angle so that they add to what for complementary? 90. Remember, good job. Okay. Supplementary, what do they have to add up to? 180. So if I do 180 and I take away 120, I need 60 more to get to 180. Okay, then a positive coterminal angle, I'm going to take what I already have and add an extra spin. So I'd already have 120, but I have to add a 360 spin on top of that. So that'd be 480. Make sense? <clears throat> then for a negative coterminal angle, I'm going to start with the 120, but I'm going to take away the 360. Okay, now let's double check that by counting. Okay, if I'm here and I go backwards 180, that puts me here, right? Then if I go backwards 240, I'd have to keep going. Would I end up in the same spot? Yeah. That's what coterminal means, is that you're ending in the exact same little line that you would have if you'd only done the 120. Does that make sense? Okay, next one. Put negative 50 on the unit circle. Okay, and negatives, which way do you rotate? Um, up or down? Down. down? down. So I would have to go backwards 50 degrees. That would put me maybe here. Make sense? Okay. I want to find a complementary angle. Complementary angles add to what? Okay, 90. But then I need to minus negative 50. 40. Okay, now think about if I do 140 and I add negative 50, is that going to give me 90 like I want? Yeah, because I'm minusing a negative that's really a plus. Uh, hey, teachers, thank you so much for those of you all that are uh, helping out sending kids down to the library. Kind of, but this time we ask that you please not send students down to the library. Have them fill out the form. There should be a URL or a QR code on the background of their Chromebook. And there's also a form that along that should have also gone out in the first place. But once again, please do not send students to get their ID. Have them fill out the online form. Thank you. Okay. So, supplementary. I'm minusing one, uh, negative 50 from 80, 180. What do I get? 230. Positive coterminal angle, I add a rotation. How much is a rotation? Um, 360. 360. And then a coterminal angle that's negative, I'm going to minus the 360. Okay, so this one's how much? 310. How much is that one? Uh, Good. So 310, negative 410. Make sense? How do you feel about it so far? Fine. Okay. All right. Turn the page. Yeah, that's fine. Um, ooh. Okay. Before we go on to that, I want you to do a little bit of your homework just to make sure you got it because we're going to add, I guess, the new stuff today. Um, so why don't you do... Number one and number seven on the homework. That's it. And then let's do measure of an angle coterminal. Um, let's do nine. Okay, and then the coterminal angle, I want you to give a positive and a negative. Okay? So give one of each for the coterminal angle. All right, so give it a shot. So you're doing one, seven, nine.
Anybody need a calculator that didn't pick one up and regrets it? Yeah. And then you're putting what quadrant you'd be in for one and seven. You can draw, but you shouldn't really have to, right? Positive coterminal, what do you do? Is it the Add 360. Coterminal is where it ends in the same place. And then a negative coterminal angle, you might miss it off. So you can draw it, but you probably don't really have to. So one ten plus three fifteen. Good. Yeah, and then you're just saying what quadrant you're in. Okay. But so basically, if I was at one ten and I want to end exactly at one ten, I have to spin one extra time. Okay. So you just do one ten, add a three sixty. That's a coterminal angle. Because think about like if I'm facing you right now. And then I spin around 360, I'm facing the exact same way. Okay. And then you'll so do your next one. one, you'll do one ten. Or so minus 360, pretend like if I'm facing you, which but I just you rotate around, around the other way. way. Do I still end up facing you? So that's why you're adding your subtracting 360. Okay. Yeah. So if it's a negative number, then it goes through. Correct. Correct. Okay, how are we feeling on this? A little bit better. So 85, if you did it, should have ended up here. What quadrant is that? Okay, number 7. Negative 160, you should have ended up here-ish. Because remember, what's this axis if I had spun exactly half? Negative 180, that would have been too far. So I would have had to stop here, which is quadrant... Okay, then number nine, remember for a positive coterminal angle, you're going to do 110 plus 360. How much is that? And then 110 minus 360. How much is that? 250. Okay. Um, okay, next one should be pretty easy. Turn over to the back. Okay, let's do a complement and a supplement. Okay, let's say we're doing number 16. 35 degrees, complementary. What do I have to do? 90 okay, 90 minus 35 degrees. How much is left over to add up to 90? 55. 55 degrees left over. You're just subtracting. Okay, then a supplement. How much does it have to add up to? 180 minus 35. How many is that? Okay, good. Okay, then I'll do one more off of, uh, we'll do number 15, just so you can see how it looks across. Okay, negative 150, where would that start? Where? Uh huh. So if I'm at zero, and I rotate back 180, that would have put me here. That's too far. So I got to stop here. That'd be negative 150 degrees. Okay, then if you read the instructions on the front, it says find a positive coterminal angle and a negative coterminal angle. So you're going to put the angle on there. Yeah, so you're going to put it on the chart. So if I'm on a positive coterminal angle, I'm going to start at negative 150, but I'm going to add a spin. How much is a spin? 360. What am I going to get? Okay, so now look, watch. 210 would be here, but I'd be counting this way, 210. And does it make sense? You're ending up in the exact same spot. This is 180, but I'm just going a little bit past that to 210, but it ends in the same place because it's coterminal. Yeah? Okay, now how do I find the negative coterminal angle? Okay, negative 150 minus 360. Okay, negative 510. Now think about this. Do our little rotation. I would go all the way around to negative 360, right? But then I'd have to go even further, but I know where it's going to end up. It's going to end up right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, five ten, right? Oh, I don't have a well, no, remember, it's coterminal, so I know it has to end up in the exact same place as the original. Okay, so look, if I did, okay, I'm going to put the calculator here for a second. Let's say that I did negative 360 already and I minus 180 more. That would make this negative 540. Do I want to rotate all the way around to negative 540? Because think about it, I would have gone... 360, 180 more is 540, but I don't want to go that far, so I have to stop. So either way, go with yeah. the same. Yes, mm -hmm. coterminal angles, you can pretty much draw the picture right off the bat. You're just redefining the angle oh, okay. by minusing 360. Okay? Okay, I don't think I want to go on to new stuff today. Yay. So I want you to finish your homework. Okay, then tomorrow we're going to do the same notes packet, but you'll get a different homework to go with it. If you are going to lose your homework, write your name on or your notes. Write your name on it. I will save it for you. I'll give it back to you tomorrow. Okay? So you go all the way around 360 plus 30. Do you Um, yeah. So y'all look at the ones that are bigger than 360. Um, I'm going to do this one right here, number 14. Yeah, okay? 14. Number 14, so still on the back side. Okay? Yeah. 410. This is 0. What's the top? Uh, We're counting positive. What's this one? 180. 180. What's this one? 270. 270, and then 360. Now, if I go all the way around to 360, how many more do I still need from 410? Okay, I still need to go 50 more. So I go around to 360, and then 50 more puts me here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So what you might think about just procedurally is if it's bigger than 360, just minus one of the spins out. See what's left. That's how much further you have to go. Does that make sense? Yeah or no? Yeah, uh-huh. So the positive, what would I do with 410? I know it's going to end still right here, but I would have to do 410 plus 360. What would my next coterminal angle be? 770. 770. Okay. And then a negative, what do I do with the spin? Do I add it or subtract it? So I do 410 minus 360, and you get it's, uh, 50. 50. Okay? On the front, it's one bigger than 360, so you're saying... Which number is it? Five. Okay, so y'all try number five. Mm -hmm. Off the front. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and is it negative 320? Wouldn't you go like... So you'd go backwards, almost 360, but then almost stop early. Right so you dip down and go around. Okay. Yeah. So try five and six. And then we'll check them. Can I erase 14? Are y'all good? So number five, I'd go all the way around to 360, and then how much further would I have to go to get to 390? 30 more, so that would put me here. Does that make sense? 
So you're thinking about, I'm basically burning one rotation, and then I'm starting over. So if I take away the 360, I still have 30 left. That would put me here. Because I have a full rotation and then 30 more. Yeah. And then what quadrant is that? Quadrant one. Okay, I'll give you another second for uh, number six. Okay, notice the negative. I would redo your axis. So this is zero, negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, negative 360. So if I want to go 320, I start here, but I count which way? Up or down? Down, down right? So I go down around to 270. I still have to go to 320. I keep going. Do I get to the axis? 360 is too far. I have to stop at 320. So it maybe be here. Now, quick question. How far away is 320 from 360? So this angle, you should be about 40 degrees off the x-axis. Make sense? All right. So finish up, and then we're going to do radians tomorrow, which are like a different measurement besides degrees. You have about 12 minutes. Do I have to do the No. As long as you end your ray, meaning your little arrow, as long as it ends in the right spot, you're good. Okay. Um, Margia, I recorded it. So if you're confused, you can watch it. Um, I'll send you the link. Why didn't we do it?